Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about slasher films. I am Coconut Kitty, and we're going to talk about the blood-soaked world of slasher films, breaking down five distinct styles that have carved their way into the genre. From the mystery-laden whodunit to the gut-riching torture porn, let's dissect those chilling subgenres and see what makes each one unique. Number one, our first stop is the Who Done It Slasher. This subgenre borrows heavily from the classic mystery novels of Agatha Christie, where the primary thrill is uncovering the identity of the killer. Unlike traditional mysteries that often only tell us about the murders, these films show us the gruesome acts in vivid details. We have Scream, which was a 1996 modern tale on the Who Done It with a self aware twist. Of course, Friday the 13th, the original film plays out as a mystery with the killer's identity revealed only at the end. Key features of the genre includes a focus on the mystery and suspense, multiple potential suspects, and a dramatic reveal of the killer. The Suspense Slasher. Next, we have the Suspense Slasher, which leans more towards Alfred Hitchcock style and less towards the brutality of Jason Voorhees. In these films, the protagonist often has everything taken from them, leading to a psychological unraveling that sometimes turns them from the hunted into the hunter. Includes the Halloween of 1978, Michael Myers' silent stalking creates unbearable suspense. Psycho in 1960, Hitchcock's masterpiece where suspense is the key element. Key features include high tension and suspense, deep psychological elements, the protagonist's transformation. Number three is the voyeur horror. The voyeur horror subgenre taps into the uncomfortable thrill of peeping, epitomized by films like Peeping Tom. These films often provide the killer's point of view, making the audience complicit in their actions and questioning their own voyeuristic tendencies. Peeping Tom, 1960, a disturbing look at the minor killer who films his murders. And of course, there's Maniac in 1980, which offers a grim and intimate view into the life of a serial killer. Key features include killer POV shots, exploration of voyeurism, and audience complicity, and of course, psychological death. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subbing and clicking the bell. Number four is the macabre slasher. The macabre slasher genre is where horror meets dark comedy. These films don't take themselves too seriously, blending gruesome kills with humor, creating an experience that's both terrifying and laughable. Example of the films are like The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, 1986, a campy follow-up to the original classic, The Undertaker and His Pals, 1966, a morbidly funny film that reveals in its absurdity. Key features in these films include dark humor intertwined with horror, over-the-top characters and situations, and satirical tone. Number five is the torture porn. Uh, finally, we have the torture porn subgenre, infamous for its explicit and often gratuitous depiction of violence and torture. The style rose to prominence with films like Eli Roth's Hostel, with the focus is on pushing the boundaries of what the audience can endure. Hostel, a tourist becomes victim in a paid to torture scheme, and then Saw introduced the world to complex traps and moral dilemmas. The key features of the films include extreme and graphic violence focus on physical and psychological torture, and moral and ethical explorations. Whether you prefer the mystery of a whodunit, the nail-biting suspense of a Hitchcock in horror, the unsettling intimacy of warrior films, the dark humor of macabre slashers, or the visceral shock of torture porn, there's a slasher subgenre for every horror fan. The debate over which style reigns supreme will never end, but one thing is certain, these films continue to captivate and terrify audiences around the world. Thanks for joining us on this bloody journey through this world of slasher films. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments which subgenre is your favorite. Until next time, stay spooky, my friends. Who's your daddy?